It's 10 trivia questions on sitcom hangouts. I'll give you the name of the hangout. You name the sitcom. This is Trivia with Buds. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and thanks for hitting subscribe so you never miss a new episode, which comes out every single weekday for the most part. And when I miss one, I usually try and play catch up. We have an episode for you today on television, uh, sitcoms specifically. I'll give you the name of a sitcom hangout and you name the sitcom. We'll get to that in just a second. All these questions provided by my Australian friend, Luke McKay. Thank you, Luke, for all of the questions uh, this whole week. We've got uh, five episodes from Luke McKay, who is a great trivia question writer. We are uh, getting ready for the new year of uh, work here in my office. We just bought new binders and we (laughs) cleaned up my desk, which was covered in all kinds of papers and things. And we're getting things all set. And I did want to mention that if you have played trivia with me before, maybe your company has booked me for a virtual event. Something else you could try that's very fun is bingo, virtual bingo. And a lot of people go bingo, like a church basement grandma thing. And I go, no, this is not your grandma's bingo. Although grandma could play. It is a pop culture bingo. So we could do pictures, um, animated GIFs, songs, you name it. Uh, movie screenshots. Those are some of the more popular ones. And um, I love hosting virtual bingo or in-person bingo. Uh, If you need me to come somewhere uh, in the United States, I'm uh, looking to do some more in-person events this year, but check out all the info at TriviaWithBuds.com. Click on the Trivia Bingo Game Shows tab, and it'll give you videos and uh, different setups and prize ideas and all kinds of cool stuff for your next virtual bingo event. I went to Riverside Tap House in Elizabethton, Tennessee last night and played Singo, which is kind of the national brand of music bingo that uh, you can you can play at different bars and stuff. That was a lot of fun. We did 70s um, for a playlist and we did, um, it was like hard rock volume two or, or alternative rock. So there was like Green Day and Fall Out Boy and all kinds of stuff on there. But it was a good time and uh, music bingo, always a great way to get your, your crew singing and dancing along to the songs on uh, this virtual landscape we're still in. So check that out, TriviaWithBuds.com for all your virtual bingo as well as trivia and game show needs. All right, today's episode is starting off right now. It is about television sitcoms. Here we go. All right, this is a nice easy one. I give you the name of the sitcom hangout. You tell me what sitcom it is from. Here's question number one. Moe's Tavern. Number one, Moe's Tavern. On what TV show would characters hang out at Moe's Tavern? Number one. Number two is also two words. It's uh, The Max, T-H-E-M-A-X, The Max. Number two, number two, The Max. Number three, Patty's Irish Pub. Number three, Patty's Irish Pub. And number four, we have Monk's Cafe. Number four, Monk's Cafe. Number five, McLaren's Pub. Number five, McLaren's Pub. Number six, JJ's Diner. Number six, JJ's Diner. Number seven, Central Perk. Number seven, Central Perk. Number eight, Cafe Nervosa. Number eight, Cafe Nervosa. Number nine, Arnold's. Number nine is just Arnold's. And number 10, the Loyal Order of Water Buffaloes. Number 10, the Loyal Order of Water Buffaloes. 
There is a bonus question here. It's two words and two points if you're playing along at home. The Hub. On what sitcom would characters hang out at The Hub? Those are all your questions on sitcom hangouts. We'll be back with the answers after this noise. We are back with the answers to sitcom hangouts. Let's see if you got all of them correct. Number one, most tavern was The Simpsons, of course. If Luke McKay's writing the questions, you know that there is a Simpsons question for sure, especially in, in the television category. He's a big Simpsons fan. Number two, The Max is Saved by the Bell. We got Zach and Kelly and Slater and Screech and Lisa and uh, Jesse all at The Max on Saved by the Bell. Number two. Number three, Patty's Irish Pub is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Number four, Monk's Cafe is Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Number five, McLaren's Pub, How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother, number five. Number six, JJ's Diner is Parks and Recreation. That is where um, Leslie Nope likes to eat her waffles. JJ's Diner. Number seven, Central Perk is Friends. Central Perk, I have that Lego set. Number eight, Cafe Nervosa is Frasier. I did not know that one. I have not watched a lot of Frasier in my day. Number eight, Frasier. Number nine, Arnold's is the older sitcom about the 50s, made in the 70s, called Happy Days. Happy Days. And number 10, The Loyal Order of Water Buffaloes, The Flintstones. The Flintstones. Fred and Barney were a member of that. Uh, I think that's supposed to be kind of like the stonemasons type deal. And number 11, The Hub, is that 70s show. That's a tough one. The Hub, that 70s show. I would have no idea myself, but maybe you loved that show and knew The Hub. Give yourself two extra points at home if you're writing these down. And that is today's episode. Thanks for playing along. And thanks for the questions, Luke McKay, especially all of the questions this whole week long from Luke McKay. We have the fact of the day for you. The fact is the tongue is the only muscle in one's body that is attached from one end. So all the other muscles attached at both ends. The tongue is just that one end, and you stick it out like Gene Simmons, and you rock out on stage. There you have it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers.